Hey there ladies and gentlemen, this is the first part in the Windows guide for how to install a Gmod dedicated server. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get the link address from the guide, which takes you to the Windows download page. Um, I'm going to save it to my Steam CMD folder, just put it somewhere where you're going to remember. And I'm going to extract it so you can use 7-zip, WinRAR, whatever you use. And then once it's extracted, uh, we just run it. It'll download some updates for itself. It'll build everything it needs in the directory. Um, usually this doesn't take too long. And when it's finished, it'll appear with like a little steam down in the bottom of this window. Uh, once that's happened, just like this, uh, you can close out this window. It'll give a little thing and we can start writing our update script. So I'm going to call it update gmod. Uh, it's the same for install, so don't worry about the precise name. Um, so uh, something that's important to note with these update scripts is that some of them require you to log in to your Steam account. For gmod, that's not necessary. Um, so at the top, we can put no prompt for password one, which basically means it won't stop and like wait for you to put some password in and then login anonymous. So this is just a Steam account which doesn't require like any authentication. Uh, and then below that, we've put these lines. So force install directory, we want to put where we want it to go. So I'm going to put gmod, uh, gmod server. And then this bit here, app app update is basically telling uh, which app to install or which program to install. So 4020 is the Gmod dedicated server. Uh, this validate flag basically means that it'll check afterwards to make sure that it's installed properly. Um, similar how you do like verify game cache in Steam. And then we just end it with a quit. And save that. So then you're going to want to open command prompt and you're going to want to go to this directory. So if you don't know how to get there, it might default to your user directory. So you want to do CD uh, and then the drive letter and then steam CMD. So yeah, that'll get you there. If you're anywhere else, uh, put the address, you can copy it from up here. Once you're here, you want to do steam cmd.exe plus run script. And then the name that we called it, which was update gmod.txt. It'll connect to the Steam public anonymously uh, without asking you for a password. It'll configure the install directory and then it'll start doing its business. Um, it can take quite a while to download. Um, you'll see that mine's already started at 18. That's because this is the second attempt. So uh, yeah, let it run and when it's done, it will uh, close this window or at least quit out the script. Okay, as you can see, it's ready downloading. We've got a success message. Um, in the next video, we'll be talking about mounting content. Uh, so until then, uh, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.